Hi guys, it's Haf. This is an update for the 100 Colourful Empties project that I am doing along with a few other people like Lena7623, I'm sure I'll get that right one day, and Hayley0614 on Instagram. She was the one who actually came up with it. Last time I went through everything. This time I'm only going to go through the stuff that I'm actually working on or the stuff that I've actually finished. So... The first category is the red category, and I have misplaced something already. Okay, in the red category, the first thing is the Natural Look Immaculate Bio Renew Night Care Face Cream, which I have finished. The next thing which I have not finished but I have been using a little uh, but not enough for the line to have moved. This is Snap Happy from Essence. The line is, the last line I put on was pretty thick so it's still sort of around there but I know I've actually used it. And then we have Ali's Big Break. Which is from IPI. And I have used it, but the line does not appear to have moved enough for me to really put another line on. I think I only used it on like one nail. The... Nika K Blue Planner in red. I have actually used this. I don't know whether I actually used enough to make a new mark. Hey, Nick. Oh, yeah. A little one. As you can see, I'm super well organised today. So, just a standard red lip liner. I knew I'd used it because I actually used the lipstick that's in here and I just smudged it. So that's where we were when we started. That's where we are now. So teeny tiny little movement on that one. And the next one in that category is the Bite Beauty lipstick in pomegranate. which I've actually used a couple of times. I don't know whether the thing has actually moved. Oh yeah. About the same amount. Oh. It's moved about the same amount as the uh, lip liner. That's what it looks like. So we have gone just a tiny little bit Mainly because of the way I use it. I tend to use the side of it so it doesn't tend to get any shorter. It just gets narrower at the top. And the last thing is the Nadio Tinted Lip Balm in Smile. I have actually used this a few times. But I haven't, that I can recollect, I haven't actually... Yeah, I haven't actually wound it up yet. So it doesn't look any different. Um, it has actually quite a bit of pigment to it for a lip balm. I mean, I know it says tinted lip balm, but it's almost a lipstick with a balmy texture. Um, but I have started using that. So that is everything I've been using in the red category. In the yellow category, we have the Ombra SPF 30... Uh, Daily Defense Moisturizing Lotion. This is an Audi brand. I have finished this one. The La Cura, another Audi brand. Twin Phase Vita Serum. Had two of these little fellas in there and they are both finished. The Nooks Multi Purpose Dry Oil. The line I had on this has actually worn off, but I have used. A little tiny bit, uh, not a whole lot, 
but I have used it I think maybe once in the last month or so. Uh, Orly Glow Stick, which is this super bright yellow neon. Um, I used it in one manicure, but it doesn't look like it's moved any. Probably because I used it on like one nail or dry brushed with it, so I didn't really use very much of it. The L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil. I um, I think I got two uses out of this as a nourishing mask for hair. I did not find that it really did anything, so certainly not something that I would bother to spend any money on. And that is it for the yellow slash gold category. In the orange category, we had the Palmer's Perfecting Face Oil and Cleansing Oil. I am currently using the cleansing oil in the shower. I think I've probably got one use left, maybe two of that. Um, so that one is, yeah, I can still feel it in there. Um, it's so messy in this kind of container, I really don't like it. But I have been using it. The Palm Olive. Uh, oil infusions, body moisturizer in citrus with jojoba oil. Um, I actually got a couple of uses out of this, mainly because I don't use it all over my body. I actually quite liked this. It was actually not bad. It smelled really nice apart from anything else. Um, but that one is all finished up. Uh, next we have the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Day Cream. I have been using this um, I can't actually see through it now, which means yeah. it's probably down below this line here. Um, yeah. But I don't think there's very much left. But I have been using that one. Uh, Natio Sunflower. Uh, I did use this, okay. but it hasn't moved enough to yeah. actually bother doing a new line on it. It's sort okay. of just on the bottom edge of so that line there. Timber, what day is that? Oh, right I'll look it up. Um, <laughs> okay. OPI's Rising Star. Um, again, I've used it, but not enough okay. for it to make a new oh, line oh. on there. The Nails Ink Top Coat has had enough movement to put a new line on it. So, we have moved... just a teeny tiny bit down, but that is movement nevertheless. The Schwarzkopf Hair Repair Mask, this great big tub, um, it, it's kind of getting there, it's going to take a while, I don't use, I don't wash my hair very often, so I don't use it very often anyway, um, I'm not sure it actually does anything for my hair, but there you go, and the original source, orange, uh, Blood Orange Daily Scrub, I have now finished. It looks like there's still some in the bottom of it, but I can't get it out. And yeah. um, I like the smell of it. I'm not sure that it actually did anything, but it was nice. So that is that one. And that is everything in the orange category. We are up to the green category. In the green category, the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter is done. I liked it well enough. Don't really like the smell of sage though, so I wouldn't be buying that again. The Covergirl Clump Crusher in black and brown. Still working. It's not clumping. I don't use it super duper often, but I really like clump crushers, so that doesn't worry me too much if it hangs around for a bit. The Innes Free Green Tea Seed Serum. I have actually started 
using this. This is one of those ones that when you pump up the bottom actually moves up. So at least I think that's what's going on in here. But I did start using this recently and that line there is where we currently are. If it would focus, there we go. That's that is where I am in that one. The macadamia oil hair treatment. I have used almost all of it. This one is almost finished. I think it's probably got one use left in it. But I've been using that one. The chlorine shampoo and conditioner. I finished up the conditioner. And I've used half of the shampoo. That was one wash. Um, I really wish that they would not give me 10 mils of conditioner and 25 mils of shampoo and do it like the other way around because my hair uses so much conditioner that I barely got one use out of this and my hair was so crunchy. I used it just before I went to the hairdresser to get my hair done um, because I didn't know if I was going to strip my hair or not. It was so terrible. Like, uh, no. And the last thing in the green category is Revlon's Moss, which has moved a little bit, but not enough to make a new line. It's like literally just below where that line is. Um, yeah. I think I only used it like once. So that is everything in the green category. In the blue category, we have the Clinique Turnaround Concentrate. I can't see where I'm in on this, but I have been using it fairly regularly. Um, but this is a completely see-through uh, not see-through container. Um, so uh, I guess I'll just go until it stops pumping stuff out. The the Eslaw Botanical Peeling Gel I have used up. Did not think very much of it at all. It was supposed to be one of those ones that like peeled up on your skin and it didn't do that. So yeah, didn't like that. The Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturiser is used up. It was fine, but I'm not a huge fan of how strongly coconut they smell. It's not that I don't like coconut. I use coconut oil a lot for stuff. Um, just not a huge fan of how strongly they smell of coconut. The Lacura Oxy Serum, I have three of them in the project. I've used one, so I've still got two in rotation. The Germaine de Cappuccini Hydra Cure, I've still only used two of these. I still have two left. The Daily Physio Gel, I've used one of them. There is another bigger one, which is still in rotation. We have we have Orly Angel Rain, which hasn't really moved from last time, and we have Elf Dark Navy, which I did use. Um, and it does look like it's gone down just a little bit. It's so hard to see in this because it's so dark. But the line is like right there and it's literally right below the line. So I'm not actually going to put another line on it at the moment. But I know I use this one. And that is it for the blue category. In the purple category, we have the Innisfree Orchid Enriched Cream. I have actually started using this, so it doesn't really look like I've used very much. I've, I have started using this instead of my normal night cream. 
the Jamboree wraps I had uh, got rid of last time. Uh, power just went out and then turned back on again. <laughs> uh, we have all these charged up, which again is a polish I used in a challenge. Um, I used in a manicure, but it's like literally right below that line, so not really worth putting a new thing on it. Lincoln Park After Dark. Uh, I swatched this in a video recently. Um, it hasn't moved enough to actually put a line, and it's really, really hard to see. <laughs> really hard to see. The NSI Nurture Oil is done. The LA Colors Bold Lash in uh, Vivid Violet has been done for a little bit. The Jordana Quick Liner in Wild Orchid. I have used this once or twice, I believe. We'll just. dropped it on the floor and broke it um, and I'm not going to use it once it's dropped on the floor there's literally maybe one application left but I didn't love it enough for that to actually be an issue anyway so I guess that one's done in Smouldering Violet. actually had quite a nice jump on this one. I used it for a couple of uh, smoky eye tutorials. Uh, tutorials. Looks. Because um, I've got another one in another project which is the Torina Tarantino um, Purple Eyeshadow. So... That's where we were last time, that's where we are now. So I have made project progress on that one. And that is everything for the purple category. In the pink category, we have the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Poppin' Pink, which has been used up mainly because it's disgustingly dry and gloopy. The Satin Lip Liner in rosewood is <laughs> oh dear and it's getting to that point where it's going to get harder and harder to sharpen um, there's, there's not much before the lid won't go back on it properly so that is where we are now so you know a nice little, little jump in that one. And the Kmart Nude Lip Liner. Has had a nice jump in it as well. In fact, almost more than the uh, satin one. So that is where we are now. That's where we were before. So that's nice. Um, L'Oreal's Opera Ballerina Nail Polish. Um, I used this in a manicure just last night. Uh, that is actually... I don't want to focus. This kind of looks a little bit like a rose quartz. That's what we're going for. Um, yeah, so... Of course, I just knocked it over. Yeah, I'm on wasn't a huge use, I mean, even though there were several layers used in this many. Um, so we are about where the bottom line is now. I had 
heard someone made a comment the other day about how um, YouTubers do this thing with a hand behind a product. Um, if you don't know why, it's literally so that the camera will focus on the thing you're trying to get it to focus on and not on your face, because cameras like to focus on your face. So, uh, yeah, that is the reason behind it. The L'Oreal Base Magic. I have been using this and quite enjoying it, I have to say. I mainly use it on my nose and my really um, poor, obvious type areas. So, I am down to there in this little poppy, basically. You don't need to use a whole heap of it, um, but it is... I am really quite enjoying, that's about where we are, I am really enjoying using that when I do my makeup. The Pond's Flawless White BB Cream, I have been using quite a bit and I, again it is a product that I actually really quite like. Um, I can't really fold it down but I'm guessing... I'm finding it actually quite difficult to get it out, so I'm thinking it's got to be down around here somewhere, but I don't actually know for sure, and I can't see through it, so, um, yeah, but I have been using it and quite enjoying it. I found out that these particular BB creams are actually easy to obtain if you're somewhere like India, but not easy to obtain if you're somewhere like where I live. And the L'Oreal Elvive Arginine Resist Anti-Fall Spray. I have been using it. I can't see through the container. I can't tell you where it is. It doesn't feel any different. It still feels super full. But I don't think it's actually doing anything for my hair whatsoever. I put it in when I do my... Like when I wash my hair. It just... Yeah, I don't think it's actually doing anything. <laughs> so that is it for the pink category. In the black category, we have the Harvey Prince Sincerely. I have been using this. I'm trying to remind myself to use this. Because I'm not very good at using perfume. <laughs> uh, so that is actually where we are now. So that's a nice big jump, isn't it? Did good this month. Nice big jump. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Um, the Fashionista Vanishing Cream. This is actually very much like um, Professional or Base Magic. It's the same, same kind of idea, just way older. Um, <sighs> I have used a little tiny bit of it. It's kind of got this really weird texture. But I have used it a couple of times. It still seems to be working even though it looks like it's weirdly dried out. It doesn't smell bad. It still smells exactly the same as it did when I bought it. Um, yeah, so it's getting used. I just don't know how quickly it's going to be moving. The LOL Black Eyeliner... I have actually used this, um, but I hadn't measured it. <laughs> so that's actually where we are, and I'm going to attempt to measure it without breaking it. So we will have a reference point for next time. The Longcom black eyeliner. Uh, I'm not sure I actually used it. I think I might have, but again, I hadn't actually marked it anyway. So I'm just going to do that before I forget again. There's just a standard black pencil eyeliner. The Revlon Custom Eyes Mascara. I think I used it like once. It's, uh, it still seems to be going okay. Uh, the Ambience Dry Shampoo. don't actually have it on me. It is 
back to it. It's, it's, hang on. Ambience dry shampoo. I have actually used it uh, once. And I will just, my hair's feeling a little. This is the no colour one, so it works fine in my brightly coloured hair. I had brightly coloured hair when I bought it, um, and that was one of the things that sold me, is that it didn't leave a white cast in my hair. But you basically just do that with it, and yeah. So, yeah, I've now used it, like, two times in this month. <laughs> should probably use it more often. Um, but you can't really see any change in it at the moment. The a new Ultimate Elixir from Avon, a little sample. I've used it. And the three black nail polishes that I had in here. We have Black Swan from L'Oreal, which has moved down a teeny tiny little bit. is Black Swan and it is moved just a little tiny bit. Uh, I can't see in liquid vinyl whether or not it's actually moved and I can't tell in Blackout. Yeah, Blackout doesn't look any different. I know I've used one of them but I can't remember which one it was other than the Black Swan one and I used another one. Uh, but that is it for the black category. In the grey silver category, we have the Clarisy Sea Salt Solutions charcoal scrubby thing, which is all done. Yay! We have Revlon Sparkle, which doesn't look like it's moved any. I know I used it like once on like one fingernail or something. Uh, Orly Shine. No, nope, that one's not Orly Shine. <laughs> Where did I put it? There it is. Uh, it doesn't look any different either. BYS Pearlized Eyeliner. I've used this quite a few times actually, um, but it doesn't, like, you can't really tell. Um, it's not like it's coming off the sides or anything. So I really have no idea how much is in there. But I have been using it and actually quite enjoying it. Didn't think I was going to, but I have been. Uh, the Colour Theory Pencil in Charcoal. I've actually used it once, but I, of course, had forgotten to mark it on the paper. I don't think I sharpened it, or I might have sharpened it. I'm not sure. We'll just... We'll put a mark there now so that next time I can measure it. The Bold Lash Mascara from LA Colors in Silver Chrome is done. I just realized I missed one in the black category. That is the Revlon Photo Finish Primer. I used this, didn't notice any difference. Um, back to the silver category. <laughs> we have the two eyeshadows, the dark grey and the lighter grey. I've used these both a few times. Um, but what I've started doing is concentrating on this bottom edge here. So I kind of like work across the pan and um, the silver one, it's, yeah, it just looks the same as it always has, but I have used it. It just doesn't look like it. I 
I've just realised I forgot one in the purple category as well, which were these Domaine de, Cup Domaine de Cappuccini eye creams, like a day and a night version. I finished both of the night versions, and one of the day versions, and the other day version is still in rotation. I am doing such a great job of actually making sure I do all of them. Um, yeah, that is it for the <laughs> grey silver category. And lastly, we have the white category. We have Essie's Good To Go top coat, which doesn't look any different to what it looks like before. We have the Aphon Nutra Effects Night Cream, which I have used. We have L'Oreal's Boho Look, which again, doesn't look any different. We have the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Too Cool, which probably doesn't look any different to what it did last time. I have used it a few times. It still looks the same. And lastly, we have the CoverGirl Exact Eye Lights in Black Sapphire. I don't know why they call this black sapphire. You would think black sapphire would look black or very dark blue. But if you've ever seen this, it's grey-ish. Let's see if I can get it to... It, it's just kind of weird. Um, but I've been using it on my bottom lashes and it seems to be okay. It's not like, it's probably quite good because I'm a little bit older. It's not hugely harsh underneath my eyes. Um, yeah. But that is everything in my 100 colourful empties. Um, I feel like I made a lot more progress in the last month because I used up so many, like, I actually collected up all of the samples that I could use in my bathroom and um, so I could actually like see them and use them so I actually used a lot more of those kind of things because they were like right there and most of the makeup things I stuck with all my other makeup so um, I was able to reach for them more easily so they actually got used I doubt very much I'll finish everything up by the end of the year I know we still got half a year to go but I seriously doubt I'm actually gonna finish all 100 of them but I still will think I will feel pretty good that I've used a whole bunch of it so yeah so that is my update for my 100 colorful empties if you want to subscribe click the little button down there click the little bell if you want to get notifications leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i'll see you in my next video see ya